okay and as usual bear with me so today for palm rejection i have this on so we get into what we call as quadratic equations uh -huh. quadratic Throughout the day when I practice, it makes no problem. When I start teaching, it will make problem. Quadratic equations. Okay. First, let us understand what is the standard form of a quadratic equation. That is very important. Now, prior to this, you have learned about linear equations, right? Linear equations, if we say linear, let's suppose we are saying linear. Linear equation, our standard form is always ax plus b is equal to 0. This is the standard form for a linear equation. Ax plus b is equal to 0. Now, why we call it linear? Because the degree is 1. If you want to do have a grasp on algebra in higher classes, it's a linear polynomial. The degree is 1. Degree, you know, highest power of x. This is linear. When we go for quadratic equation, our standard form will be Ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Ab dekho, aapka degree 2 ho gaya. Your degree is 2 right now. So this is called a quadratic equation. Now here, another thing that we'll see, suppose, sir, I got an equation at home which was in school, which was x square minus 4 equal to 0. No issues. In standard form, we can still write it as something like this. See, 1x square plus 0, 0x plus negative of 4 is equal to 0. Can we write this? Plus negative of 4 equal to 0. It still is quadratic equation. Our job in this chapter will be to solve quadratic equation. Let's see how many different ways we can solve quadratic equation. So in your book, it doesn't mention like where to use what and it just straight away says, hey, you can do it. Is this basic knowledge clear? Okay, right. So there are three ways you can solve quadratic equation. Number one, is the most easiest one which is called factorization. Factorization. Okay. Number two, we will say is called the method of completion of square. Method of completion of square. And I'll take a same example and we will do it with every way. Square. And the third is the usage of the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula. Be very proud to learn about this lesson because the quadratic formula is given from India. It's called Sridharacharya's formula. And that's what the world learns as quadratic formula. Okay? So let's go by factorization first. Factorization will involve, factorization will involve MTS. M stands for middle, middle, term and then you have to split the middle term. This is known as factorization. Okay. Middle term splitting. You have your basics clear. Ahiri, you have done a lot of problems on this. So let's have our basics once again revisited. Now let's take one problem. Just a problem. Let's say standard problem. Let's say x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm now trying to learn how to do middle term splitting. Now, middle term splitting is very easy when you get it in this way. When you get radicals like roots and all, it becomes tough. But as pehle, pehle to seekhte hai. Okay. Middle term splitting, mein, what you need to keep an eye on is, what is the leading coefficient? Here, the leading coefficient is 1. You are supposed to multiply this and this. How much do we get? 6. 1 multiplied by 6, you get 6. And split 6 into 2 factors. Split 6 into 2 factors, which are f1 and f2, such that the algebraic sum of f1 and f2 should be the middle term. Did you understand? We will multiply the leading coefficient with 6. So in our case, it is 6 right now. Split 6 into 2 factors. Now we are supposed to split 6 into 2 factors. So I would say, if I split it as 3 and 2, just look at 3 and 2. 3 multiplied by 2 is how much? 6. 
and three added with two gives me how much? Five. Job is done, right? So I my next step to this problem would be I would write this as I would write this as x square, and I'll now split the middle term with the factors I got. Three x plus two x is equal to oh sorry, three x plus two x. 3x plus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. Is this understood? Right? And obviously here you should write or. Now your job is to take common. So we take x common, x plus 3. Once you have taken x plus 3 as common, in bato ko dhyan se, see, ye aapko karna aata hai, children. I don't want you to do this problem as I am doing. I very well know you know how to do it. You should learn the tricks involved in this type of maths. So, you can pen rock low. You can do it. You can do it. You can do This beauty is not about. If you get an x plus 3 out here, you have to get an x plus 3 out here. Whatever happens. If you are not going to do it, you have to get an x plus 3. And this is 0. So, in order to get an x plus 3, I would definitely suck out a 2. Now, just see 2 multiplied by x is 2x, 2 into 3 is 6. Have you understood? Now, both of them are same terms. If this is dog, this is also dog. So, take the dog common. Let's take the dog common. So, how, what do we take common? x plus 3 is common. Now, what I am left for the first one is x and I am left with a 2 is equal to 0. This is called factorization. The quadratic equation that you got, you finally factorized it into two factors, f1 and f2. This is the first, first way of learning, factorization. Factor kar diya hai. Now, blah blah into blah blah is equal to 0. Either blah blah will be 0 or this will be 0. Quadratic means what if your degree is 2, what is the maximum number of solutions you can get? 0, 1, 2. Are you, are you aware of that? Like, what is the standard form? The standard form is ax square. Okay. So the standard form is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Here we will get how many roots. Roots means solution. You can have 0, you can have 1, or you can have 2. At most 2. Jo degree hoga, wohi solution hoga. At most 2. These things you should write. A quadratic equation can have how many solutions? 0. 0 means count. No solution. 0 means no solution. Ye aap likho. Ki agar aap, if you are a quadratic equation, these will help you. If you are a quadratic equation, then the number of roots, roots means, roots means solution, roots means solution, that is the value of x. You can have is either no solution, one solution, or two solutions, not beyond two. Yes, much If it was a cubic equation, how many solutions we can have? Zero, one, two, three. So if it is an nth degree, you will have n solutions. That's why in linear, you used to get one solution only, right? And the factors that you will get, factors will always be equal to two. Cubic equation will have three factors. Quadratic equation will have two factors. Linear may ekhi factor banta hai. Ye likhe rakhe, ye aapke useful hai. Now see, did we start with the quadratic equation? Yes. Finally, we landed up in how many factors? Two factors. Factors ka matlab samajhte hai na? Factors means it will always end as bracket into bracket. See, we ended with two factors. You will end with two factors. No questions asked, okay? Now, what do we do? We say either, either x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. If this is equal to 0, we say x is equal to negative 3 or x is equal to negative 2. Are we fine? In such a scenario, we call this as this and this. If we call this as x1 and we call this as x2, we find that x1 is not equal to x2. Are the two roots equal? No. In this case, we say that we got distinct roots. Children, whether it is in your book or not, please learn these things. It is called distinct roots. Distinct roots. Distinct means two dissimilar roots. So what is the scenario you got, Bacha? You got a scenario where you got a solution, two solutions, and both the solutions are distinct. 
अपार्ट होते हैं हाँ बोलो बेटा अब करेंगे एक एक करके मैं समझ गया आप क्या बोल रहे हो एक मिनट होल्ड करो अपना क्वेश्चन मैं बताता हूं तो आउट हियर वोट टाइप ऑफ सोल्यूशन डिड यू गेट डिस्टिंग सोल्यूशन ठीक है ना चलिए कोई बात नहीं इतना आप समझ लो सो इन दिस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डिस्कशन वॉट आई वुड बी इंटरेस्टेड फॉर यू टू नोट डाउन इज दैट यू शुड नोट डाउन दीज थिंग्स वॉट इज द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ रूट डू यू एक्सपेक्ट हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स डू यू एक्सपेक्ट वॉट आर द थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स यू लर्न ओनली फैक्टराइजेशन वॉट इज मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटिंग हाउ डू यू स्प्लिट द मिडिल टर्म एंड वॉट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई डिस्टिंग रूट डू यू हैव एनी क्वेरी आउट हियर राइट नाउ ओके we'll take this problem with a different method also but before that let me come up with one more type okay can i rub this now okay so this much you should know kitan can i rub okay chal asmita ahire mita sakta hu bachcha theek hai so yes i take another problem now and my my next problem is uh, sorry my next problem is let's say i am taking a question which is x square minus 4 is equal to zero. ठीक है ऐसा तो इक्वेशन इज इट अट्रेटिक इक्वेशन यस बिकॉज पावर ऑफ द वेरिएबल इज टू मैक्सिम पावर ऑफ द वेरिएबल ये देखने में कैसा लग रहा है ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर फॉर्मैट में है राइट सो वॉट कैन आई राइट फॉर दिस हीरो प्रॉब्लम एब्सोल्यूटली अगर इज फेवरेट प्रॉब्लम्स चूज टू डू फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स सो दिस बिकम्स ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर एक्स माइनस टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एक्स प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो आप फिर से देखो Have we not reduced it into two factors, f1 and f2? After this, you can solve. You know how to solve it now. Either this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero. In both the cases, if you again see, you get a value of x1 which is equal to positive two. You get a value of x2 which is equal to negative two, and you again find that x1 is not equal to x2. So this is also a clear cut case of distinct roots. समझ में आया? Okay. इसके पैरेलल एक और प्रॉब्लम देखते हैं अभी हम सब फैक्टराइजेशन ही देख रहे हैं बच्चा ओके लेट मी टेक अ प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस फोर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस फोर इफ यू वांट वी कुड हैव डन मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटिंग आल्सो डेलिबरेटली आई एम नॉट डूइंग विल डू मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटिंग आपको चाहिए तो कर सकते हैं इसका फैक्टर्स क्या होगा टू टू बट डूइंग मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटिंग विल बी फुलिशनेस बिकॉज दिस प्रॉब्लम This is equal to zero. Equal to zero. This problem is of this order, x square, and I can make this as two square plus two into a into b. देखो तो ये format में आ गया. A square plus twice ab plus b square. है ना? तो ये what does it land you to? It lands you to x plus two whole square is equal to zero. Now again, x plus two whole square equal to zero means x plus two multiplied by x plus two is equal to zero. बोलो बच्चा. फिर से दो फैक्टर्स आया कि नहीं. F one, F two. But now you have an interesting story. If you see your x one, which is equal to negative two, if you see your x two is also equal to negative two. समझ में आया? Such a scenario we call this as equal roots. Equal roots. Any expression which will be in the form of a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square, the, those equations will yield me equal roots. See, if your format is a plus minus b, a plus minus b whole square equal to zero, you will be landing up with equal roots. There is only one root. No root, no root. Equal root. This is the scenario of one root. so you understood how to get two roots two roots means two distinct roots we'll see the graphical part also then one root means it's only one particular answer for x do jagah dikhega lekin answer ek hi dikhega aapko that 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 tells you about count dhruv wo count batata hai zero means zero count of roots is this clear theek hai so i hope factorization is little bit clear we'll take some more tougher problems of factorization also but we have understood how to do factorization right we go to our next part which is known as this is one of the most interesting chapter of algebra we'll see what is called the method of completion of square the method of completion completion of square 
usually people don't use it because people find it lengthy but the formula that you use minus b plus minus has come from here only ye yahi se aaya hai method of completion of square theek hai fas gaya kabhi koi higher end problem kar raha hai aapse nahi ho raha hai to kar sakte hain okay i take my same problem what was my problem my problem was x square sorry my problem was x x square plus uh 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 this was our problem right x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 that is visible i don't know why it changes to blue now we'll do method of completion of square i have to end everything as a square chalo dekhte hain isko kaise karte hain you'll get the same answers i am writing this x as x square are you fine this component i will try to express it as twice ab what will i try to express it as twice ab to dekho to kaise likhta hu acha twice ab means bachcha this is your a a to mil chuka hai aap theek hai b hame nahi pata ab dekhte hain b kahan se aayega so i i will write this as 2 into x twice a ho gaya into b i need to get 5x so i have no other option but to make it 5 by 2 have you understood right i have no other option so this is now twice a b are we fine clear then the formula says now you might ask sir you are going with a plus b whole square why did you not go with a minus b whole square i take my decision based on this sign this sign was plus so i will go with this as a a plus b whole square in the method of completion of square you are supposed to bring it to the format of a plus minus b whole square koshish kar theek hai i saw a plus so i'm going ahead with a plus b whole square right i got my b then the formula says what b square b square right now look is this term satisfied yes this term is satisfied is 5x satisfied yes the entire thing is 5x this is something that you yourself introduced it is disturbing my original equation let me take it out also agreed i've taken it out Okay. I put it because I want this in a plus b whole square, and there was an original six, so I keep the six also. Check, check whether this is same as this or not. Obviously same. X square, x square. Five x two into two gone. This is five x. Six should be there. Six. Or ये दोनों एक दूसरे को काट देते. Which one has become negative to positive? This is not negative. This is positive. You didn't see this. Okay. Okay. Clear? Okay. Let's see now what we can do from here. So, one minute, actually. So, my next step would be x plus five by two whole square. Are we fine? Yeah. Okay. Very good. I take the minus common, and I open it up as a bracket. What is five square by two, beta? Twenty-five by four, right? And I write this as minus six. Am I allowed to do this? I'm allowed to do this. Okay. Or take this. Now this becomes x plus five by two whole square minus. Let's solve this. How much is it? Four six a twenty four twenty five minus four is one by four. Can I write this one by four as one by two whole square? Has come me aaray? Trick kya ho raha hai? It has come in the format of a square minus b square. Are you getting it? The beauty of this problem now it is coming as a square. So chota kar lete hai. Yes. Yeah. Second part. Which second part you didn't get? This is the second. Uh, the this one. No, sir, not that. This one. 
What is this whole thing? A square plus twice AB plus B square. Yeah. A plus B whole square. And this, this minus is this minus. Yeah, okay. 5 square by 2 becomes 25 by 4. Yes. And plus 6 becomes minus 6 because minus has been taken common. Okay, okay. Sir. Then 25 by 4, this becomes 6 fours are 24. It's 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is half square. Are we fine now? Yes. Take it. Chalo. Thank you. So, how do you see this? Because exercise problems you all will be able to do. Now, this is a square minus b square. Grade 7 formula per se. A square minus B square format me again. Chali. So formula is my problem formula bit high away. So our formula would be A plus B. So what is your A? X plus 5 by 2 plus B plus 1 by 2 into X plus 5 by 2. This is your A minus 1 by 2 is equal to 0. Fine. ये लंबा प्रोसेस है लेकिन सीखते हैं इसीलिए बिकॉज़ एवरीथिंग मे नॉट बी मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटेबल प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड द दिस क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैव टेकन इज अ वेरी यूनिक क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटेबल एवरी टाइम यू विल नॉट गेट मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटेबल दैट्स व्हाई यू यूज कैलकुलेटर्स एंड ऑल बट अदर बोर्ड चिल्ड्रन दे आर नॉट एबल टू यूज कैलकुलेटर्स एवरी टाइम यू विल नॉट गेट अ मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटेबल Every quadratic equation is not middle term splitable. You are very lucky if you get a middle term splitable. Usually they will give you middle term splitable questions in word problems. Because in word problem, we want to see whether you are able to crack the problem or not. Solving the equation is not the hard part. So, her question is not But this method can solve any equation, whether it is middle term splitable or not. I am keeping a middle term splitable so that you can tally the answer and see that we got the same answer. Okay? So, I have इसको आगे सॉल्व करते हैं चलो हाउ मच शुड वी हैव x प्लस फाइव प्लस वन विल बिकम हाउ मच सिक्स सिक्स बाई टू मीन्स थ्री और यहां पे कितना हो जाएगा फाइव माइनस वन इज फोर फोर बाई टू इज टू आगे आंसर x इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस टू is the answer same as the previous one? Okay. Yeah. I will do many examples. I will do a standard. I will derive that formula with this only. Don't worry. We will derive that formula which you use. But did you understand this problem? I have taken up, now you may ask a question, sir, this problem, you did it in three steps earlier. Why are you going by this long process? My dear child, this question is factorizable. Every question need not be factorizable. So if the question is not factorizable, then this method will give you a solution. But middle term splitting will not work. Middle term splitting is not something. See, the initial questions that you have in your exercise are so kiddo, they give you x square minus 25 equal to zero. Which idiot doesn't know how to solve it? X square minus 5. So, this is the group. Yes, so much. Now, this is the standard equation. Karenge. Standard. Standard means we'll try to derive our original formula. Maza aja aega aapko. Wo b square minus 4ac aata kaha se hai. Wo. This is called method of completion. Shall I go ahead now? Now, we go to our format, which is called the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula will first derive it. Let's see whether we are able to derive the quadratic formula. And that way you will understand how the formula comes. Okay. So what is our quadratic equation? Our quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c plus c is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We will go by what method? Method of completion of square. Same thing that I did. So what is the sign out here, beta? Plus. So I should target a formula of a plus b whole square. Let's let's target that. Or aram aram se dekho and tell me if I'm making mistake. Don't try to solve it. This derivation is not there in your course. You enjoy the derivation and prompt me if I'm going wrong somewhere. Root under a x whole square a square. Sorry, may I? Okay. Or else I can do it in another method. To make it more simpler, let me divide the whole equation by a so that I make the leading coefficient 1.
एम आई अलाउड टू डू दिस ठीक है आई है होल इक्वेशन बाय ए ए ऑन बोथ साइड जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई ए जीरो एंड एवरीथिंग इज राइट आई नाउ गो विथ माई कंप्लीस ऑफ स्क्वायर एंजॉय इट सो फर्स्ट थिंग शुड बी ए स्क्वायर ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी सो टू टू ए इज एक्स एंड आई हैव टू गेट अ बी बाई ए सो इन ऑर्डर टू गेट अ बी बाई ए डोंट यू थिंक आई शुड मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई बी बाई टू ए गेस सी इज दिस इक्वल टू दिस टू एंड टू कैंसल्स एंड इट इज बी बाई एक्स अंडरस्टूड But now think, what is your a? Just keep thinking. What is your a? Your a is this. What is your b? The entire thing is your b, and this is your twice a b. There is a formula. In the formula, it is a square plus twice a b. Then I should have what? B square. So let me go back to my b square. So b square. लिखेंगे तो क्या लिखेंगे बेटा? B square by 4a square, or if you wanted that, I am writing in a little bit more confused way. You can write this as b by 2a whole square. ठीक है? Now you introduce. Now check with the first term. This one satisfies this one. This whole thing satisfies this. This is a foreign element that you have introduced. So I reduce this element again. B by 2a whole square. and then i bring back my c by a clear okay ab aage chalte hain now this should give me x plus b by 2a whole square minus b square by 4a square minus c by a Is equal to zero. Ashmin, ja dekho to samajh me aaya ki nahi. Minus of this is this. Minus into minus is plus this. Yes. Clear? No issues. Chaliye. X plus b by two a whole square. Or zara yahan pe common le lo to four a square and a. What should be the LCM? And a. So if you take L no. The LCM would be फोर ए स्क्वायर एंड ए कल के देखो ना ए से काटो ए से काटोगे तो कितना आएगा फोर ए इंटू वन ए से करते हैं फोर ए एंड दिस इज वन सो एलसीएम इज वॉट फोर ए स्क्वायर सो हमारा एलसीएम कितना आ गया फोर ए स्क्वायर सो आई रिटेन दिस इज बी स्क्वायर एंड फोर ए स्क्वायर मीन्स दिस विल बिकम Four a square c, but it won't be a square because a we already have, so it will be four a c. देखो तो इतना तक समझ में आएगी नहीं? Four a square is the LCM. Four a square divided by a is what? Four a. Four a multiplied by c is four a c. तो समझ में आ रहा है? आपका pattern बन रहा है कि नहीं? See what did we do? We took four a square. We divided it by a, so a ने a को काटा, इसको c से multiply किया, तो कितना आया बेटा? Four ac आया कि नहीं? Four ac. Anyone who has not understood till now, all fine? And this is equal to zero. But my job is to make this whole thing as a square minus b square. Yes or no? एक ही बात है बिकॉज आई नीड द फॉर्मैट टू बी वॉट ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सो आई पुट अ रूट एंड देन आई पुट अ स्क्वायर रूट एंड स्क्वायर कैंसिल इच अदर आई वी फाइन ठीक है आ जाओ इतना तक ठीक है अच्छा इसका नेक्स्ट स्टेप लिखते हैं इसका नेक्स्ट स्टेप हो गया मेरा x प्लस बी बाई टू ए होल स्क्वायर माइनस रूट ओवर बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी ओके डिवाइडेड बाई डिवाइडेड बाई 
okay let me keep the root now as usual where's the root gone one minute actually. okay minus root over anyways then we are not doing anything great just one minute how much okay so a square minus b square let's put our formulas now our formula would be x plus b by 2a a plus b what is b b is a root of b square minus 4ac divided by 4a square a plus b into a minus b मैं दो टर्म लिखने की जगह यहां पे माइनस डाल दिया ये स्टेप समझ में आया ए प्लस बी इंटू ए माइनस बी ना इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग ट्वाइस आई हैव पुट दिस प्लस माइनस डिंट अंडरस्टैंड इट्स लाइक दिस सी चिल्ड्रन एक्स प्लस एक्स प्लस ए इंटू एक्स माइनस ए आई एम राइटिंग अ कंबाइंड स्टेप एस एक्स प्लस माइनस ए वॉट इज द हार्म x plus a into x minus a. ये बाबा चलो तुम लोग यार थोड़ा शॉर्टकट नहीं समझते हो कोई बात नहीं. No issues. Ah, one minute. One minute. That's why I said the type of problems you all are doing is very very kiddo level problem. थोड़ा सा high end problem करते हैं. One minute. Okay. अभी समझ में आया ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर ना ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी मैंने इन दोनों को अलग लिखने की जगह इसको प्लस माइनस किया था ना वॉट वॉज द ग्रेट डिफरेंस Are you clear now? Okay, fine. Now, what is the solution? The solution is either this should be equal to zero or this should be equal to zero. Shall we solve one at a time, or can I combine both and solve now? Are combine means simple. Draw with plus and you check minus. Write now. What is so? What is the thing that you are unable to understand? This is this is a. This is b. ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी एक साथ ए प्लस माइनस बी नहीं लिख सकते क्या काम छोटा होता है ना नो आई नॉट डू इट ट्वाइस वॉट इज द जनरल फॉर्मुला ऑफ द कोटेटिक इक्वेशन एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस बी प्लस माइनस रूट ओवर बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी बाई टू ए प्लस माइनस बी प्लस माइनस यहीं से आएगा That's what. That's why I'm doing this because you are habituated to only memorizing the formula. How the formula came, you are not understanding. थोड़ा सा एब्सॉर्ब करो ना चलो सो आई एम आई एम टेकिंग इट लाइक दिस नाउ एक्स एक तो ना ये पेन में इतना लफड़ा है ना एक्स प्लस बी बाई टू ए ठीक है प्लस माइनस नाउ सी दिस स्टेप रूट ओवर बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी एंड इसको अगर रूट से निकाले तो टू ए होना चाहिए इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वी आर सपोज टू सॉल्व फॉर एक्स एक्स इक्वल टू कैन आई ओके बिफोर आई सॉल्व एक्स इक्वल टू लेट मी मेक इट मोर बेटर एक्स प्लस कैन आई टेक द टू ए right and can i put this as b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac ye dal sakte hain yeah right got it now what should be your answer x is equal to the whole thing shifts that side So when the whole thing shifts, now use higher end mathematics. When the whole thing shifts this side, this fellow becomes minus, then the plus will become minus, and the minus will become 
plus. So you again have a plus minus combination only. Have you understood? This plus, when it goes this side, will become minus. This minus, when it goes this side, becomes plus. So isn't it the same plus minus combination? So can I write it as minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Is it not the quadratic formula that you study? And you study it as x1, x2. One answer would be when you will take the plus, one answer would be when you will take the minus. This is how the quadratic formula has come. So if you want one more step, I would write my x1 is minus b minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and my x2 would be minus b plus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a. And if you think that this is causing you trouble, you do it and 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 this is quadratic formula. But problem is you are only rectifying this. How it came is this. And what the formula did you use? Method of completion of square. And you got this. I am resting for some time. I want you all to now derive this on your own. It is in your screen. I will not wipe it. And then you, you will come at a step where there will be many plus minus or a help karnikelia. See the board when it matters. Have you understood, Kirtan? In your school, this will not come. But if you want to have your hands good on algebra, which are not told in your books. Write down ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Likho, likho. ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Write it. Dividing both sides by a. Dividing both sides by A. How to break it? Did you understand the trick? This is your, isko bracket mein rakho. This is your A square. No, 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 no. Here. Yeah. Aram aram se karo. Yeah. Always put the or symbol also before you start. Implies that. Yeah. Because it's an equation. 2 into A. You already have your A. X into B. Now you don't know what will be B. You try to make the B in such a manner that you're able to match this. Yeah. B agya. A B square liko. B by 2A whole square. 2A whole square. This is excess that you wrote. Reduce it again. And adjust your C by A. Bus or problem kya hai. Now you make it as A plus B whole square. Aram aram se karo. You get stuck up in any step, don't hesitate. Then your job is to get it in. Is called before A plus B whole square in format me before, huh? x by b by 2a whole square. Ab tumne kitna address kar diya? Itna tak address kar diya. Hai na? Aur isko minus b square format karo. So take the minus common. Hmm, this was plus, huh? Originally. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Kirtan. What happened? Tell me. Huh. So what did you do? a square yeah. plus 2ab plus b square. So this much is my a plus b whole square. Then the minus b square to adjust it. Yeah. So up till this much, up till this much, write it as x plus b by 2a whole square. This part. Uh, what, what did you not understand? Tell me, I'll help you. See. We had our question as ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Yeah. We are dividing both sides by a. So this becomes x square. Yeah. Is this clear? Yeah, that's good. Okay, after that, I'm, I look at this sign and then it strikes my mind that I should make it a plus b whole square. 
because this is plus. Yeah. So a square okay. plus two into a is already formed. Yeah. And b would be such that I should get a b by a x. Now I got a x already. Two is excess, so definitely two has to come in bottom, and b by a should come. Yeah. Now two and two cancels. This is same as this. Yeah. So this is the new b. This is the new b. So b square. Right? Yeah. But who gave you the right to write this? Yeah, you introduced. So you have to cancel it also. And don't forget your yeah, C original C by A. So from here to here, is it not X plus B by 2A whole square? A plus twice AB plus B square. A yeah. plus B whole square. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And I take a minus, and this is B by 2A whole square. Since I took the minus common, so this becomes minus C by A. C, you are satisfied or not? Yeah. Satisfied? Yeah. Anything that is causing trouble? Oh, fine. Okay, good. So we retain this as X plus B by 2A minus, break this up, B square. This is 4A square. Fine? Yeah. X plus b by 2a minus 4a square and a square lcm is 4a square Did you, this you understood yeah, so b square 4a square divided by a is how much 4a 4a multiplied by c is now look we need to get a a square minus b square format but this is a square minus b you don't have a square so we have to introduce the square also so x plus b by 2a whole square. Now I have to make it a square. So what I do, I put a root b square minus 4ac oh, yeah. divided by 4a square just to make it a square format. All fine? Yes. Now employ the formula a plus b, a plus b. And 4a square I'm taking out of root. So it should be 2a. Yeah a plus b into a minus b minus now right yeah. now either this should be zero or this should be zero yeah so if this one is equal to zero then what is the value of x x is equal to minus b by 2a right yeah minus b square minus 4ac by 2a and I am writing this as the first value of x so can I not make it as minus b b square minus 4ac whole thing over 2a right another value could be this one x2 in this case it becomes minus b by 2a this one goes that side becomes plus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So I write my x2 in better format as minus b plus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a. And now I combine both as x1, 2 and I write this as minus b because minus b is common. This is only the thing that is plus pulsating, right? So I write it as b square minus 4ac. Understood? Yes. Nobody will ask you to derive this, but you should understand how to do it. Okay. Ajab. Ho gaya? Maza aya? Thik hai. Aap dekho, aur bhi maza aega. So, isko mitaongo bhi bachcha? Anyway, it's getting recorded, so koi tension nahi hai. Ajab. Ek aur maza daar cheez dekhte hai. So, based on this, now since we know the quadratic formula, so given a quadratic equation ax square, plus bx plus c is equal to 0, I know that the solutions can be x1 and 2 such that they are given by minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Have you understood? This is the formula? Okay. This b square minus 4ac is a very stylish thing. Okay, let's see this b square minus 4ac b square minus 4ac in quadratic equation has been given a name and the name is discriminant discriminant this is known as discriminant 
and denoted by the letter D. Ab dekho, why we are doing this? You can predict the solutions much beforehand. Isko kya bolte hai? Discriminant. Thik hai? Ab aap socho, how many solutions can a quadratic equation have? Zero, no solution, one solution, two solution. Agreed? Tell me children, have you ever been able to solve something like this? Aisa koi chih solve kar paaye ho? Square of a number which gives negative. Root of minus 3 means some number a, a multiplied by a should give you minus 3. Halaki swap 11 mein paroge, these are called complex or imaginary numbers. But in real numbers, they don't exist. Do you agree? So the solution is that, the inference is that, sir, we don't know how to solve this. Not only you, none of us know. What if you come up with a scenario, what if you come up with a scenario where b square minus 4ac becomes less than 0? Ho sakta hai na? b square minus 4ac less than 0 means this particular term will have root under some negative identity. Are you getting or not? Have you understood? So for quadratic equations where the discriminant is less than 0, we say that there is no solution. No solution. A quadratic equation whose b square minus 4ac so sometimes when you get the quadratic equation, you CBC me bahut karate hai. Check whether the quadratic equation has solution or no solution. If the b square minus 4 is you can always break as b square minus 4 is It will have no solution. Because aapko root ke andar negative aa jayega. You cannot solve it. Clear? Okay. Tell me children, if you get something like this, root under 0, can we not write this as 0? Right? So, my second question to you is, what if b square minus 4ac value becomes equal to 0? That is, that is, my d is equal to 0. If d is equal to 0, just look what your solution will be. x1 and 2, both will be equal to minus b by 2a. Did you understand? This whole portion will become 0. So the answer will be x equal to minus b by 2a. This is a scenario where we will say equal roots. This is the scenario of equal roots. Heart is not agreeing. We need some proof. Ajao, ek proof karke dekhte hain. Okay? Isko dobara hum karenge. Isko tension matlo. We'll see this once again. So, you remember? I told you, I told you that if you have equations of this format, x plus 2 whole square is equal to 0. What are the values you will get? x plus 2 into x plus 2 equal to 0. Is ka answer kya kya aega bolo to bachcha? x1, 2 will be equal to negative 2. Get it? Equal roots? Let us check this. Let's check this. Expand this. Is ka expansion kya hoga? x square? plus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. Here a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, c is equal to 4. Agreed? Either dek, either dek, baad mein karna, maja lo, mathematics ka. Samaj mein aya? Iska discriminant check karo to. Discriminant is b square minus 4ac. What is b square? 16. Minus 4 into 4 into a into c, which is 1. Kitna ho gaya? 16 minus 16. Kitna aya? 0. Agar discriminant 0 hai, to equal roots hai. Got it? If the discriminant is 0, you get equal roots. So, abhi kya kya sikha aapne? Number 1. Number 1. Discriminant less than 0, no solution. Number 2. Discriminant equal to 0, equal solution. Or we call it equal roots. And number 3. If the discriminant is greater than 0, greater than 0 means any positive number, any positive, sorry, any positive number A. Do you think any positive number square root exists? Yes. Calculator hai, exists to karega. It may not be a perfect square, but exists to karega. So if the discriminant is greater than 0, you get x1 and x2, distinct roots where they are not equal. Isko bolte hum, 
डिस्टिंक्ट अब जरा चेक करो हमने जो प्रॉब्लम आपको कराया था उसमें डिस्टिंक्ट रूट आया था माइनस थ्री एंड टू जरा उसको चेक करते हैं आ जाओ तभी ना मजा आएगा मैथमेटिक्स का आ जाओ लेट्स चेक दैट प्रॉब्लम ऑल्सो वॉट वॉज द क्वेश्चन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो हियर ए इज इक्वल टू वन बी इज इक्वल टू फाइव सी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सॉल्व योर डिस्क्रिमिनेंट डिस्क्रिमिनेंट इज बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी वी शुड गेट इट ग्रेटर देन जीरो वी हैव टू गेट इट ग्रेटर देन जीरो आओ चेक करते हैं बी स्क्वायर मीन्स ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फोर इंटू सिक्स इंटू हाउ मच वन सो यू गेटिंग हाउ मच ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर विच इज इक्वल टू वन विच इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो दैट्स वाई यू गोट डिस्टिंग रूट नो कम लाउडली आई डेंट हियर यू no it's nothing like that factorizable or not is totally your luck if it is middle term splitable it is factorizable that is the easiest form of factors middle term splitting is the most easiest one you are blessed if you get a question like that and in cambridge you do get that if you don't get a middle term splitable then the only solution is to use the quadratic formula and if somebody tells you in some other boards no solve it by method of completion of square so you will get a a square minus b square equal to 0 a plus b into a minus b equal to 0 have you understood this now let us see what is the graphical interpretation of all these things tabhi aapko aur bhi zyada maza aayega aa ja what does graphical interpretation mean okay this is x axis this is y axis solution solution means what a solution between you two is something that you two are fighting with each other i work out an op option which is agreeable by him also and agreeable by you also do you agree okay generally all the quadratic equations that you see what do we write it as ax square plus bx plus c i am representing it as an equation like this y equal to ax square plus bx plus c this is a simple expression a function understood what is the equation of x axis the equation of x axis is y equal to 0 equation of x axis is always y equal to 0 and this both of them have the left hand side equal so if you equate the right hand side that is your quadratic equation so your fight is now between this is one fighting boy and this is one fighting boy we have to give a solution to them this is nothing but this is nothing but the x axis x axis is fighting with this equation or function and i have to work out a solution solution means what handshake points where this graph will be shaking hand with x axis are actually your solutions anywhere linear equation ka solution dekho na aap linear equation kya likhte ho ax plus b is equal to 0 yes or no you are actually equating what you are equating two expressions y equal to ax plus b and y equal to 0 and y equal to 0 you are equating these two this is y equal to 0 so what is your answer what is the answer for this the answer for this is x equal to minus b by a linear equations ko solve karo na x equal to minus b by a minus b by a is what somewhere here you know slope सिखाया था ना इसको 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 जरा रीड करो तो कैसा दिख रहा है y इक्वल टू ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी सो दिस इक्वेशन मस्ट टच अ पॉइंट बी आउट हियर एंड टच इन गो दिस वे दिस इज द सोल्यूशन ग्राफिकली दिस इज द सोल्यूशन एल्जेब्रिकली सॉल्व करने से ग्राफ प्लॉट करोगे तो ये सोल्यूशन है एंड सेम नंबर यूल गेट वी आर नाउ डूइंग क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन द क्वाड्रेटिक ग्राफ विल ऑलवेज बी The quadratic graph will always be like this. Am I wearing this? The quadratic graph is like this. How many ways can you draw this graph on x-axis? Just see. One way would be that it intersects x-axis at two points. Those two points can be any two points. It can intersect like this. It can intersect like this. It can intersect like this. 
बट वी आर इंटरसेक्टिंग एट टू पॉइंट टू डिस्टिंग पॉइंट समझ में आ रहा है इसको हम बोलते हैं डिस्टिंग सोल्यूशन इफ यू इफ यू लिटल बिट लव मैथमेटिक्स देन वॉट एवर डिस्टिंग सोल्यूशन प्रॉब्लम वी हैव सॉल्व टूडे गो बैक होम and you have got something on your internet you have on internet something called the graphing uh, software you can use this i don't know how many of you have heard about it desmos desmos click karna desmos will draw any graph you just write plot y equal to x square plus 3x plus 5x plus 6 and you see how the plot goes what are the answers we found out minus 3 and minus 2 our graph will be pointing upwards and our graph will pass through minus 2 and minus 3 pass karna hi padega this is the root when you not for the graph then you will absolutely opposite nahi quadratic graph is all quadratic graphs will always open like this not you it opens outside you you plot na aap plot karo y equal to x square plot karo आप प्लॉट करके देखो आओ प्लॉट करके देखते हैं यू टेक अ इक्वेशन एंड यू प्लॉट ना कैसा है आ, यही सब मैथमेटिक्स की खूबी है ये सब नहीं पढ़ाते हैं बेकार की चीजें पढ़ाते हैं ये आ जाओ वाई इक्वल टू एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर सो वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर इफ आई टेक वन आई गेट वन अग्रीड इफ आई टेक टू आई गेट फोर If I get three, I get nine. Y yes. equal to x square graph. ऐसे खुलेगा. If I take minus two, I get four. If I take minus three, I get nine. ऐसे खुलेगा. हमेशा. Oh, okay. और यार. This is this is one way. Number of times the graph intersects x-axis is your solution. अच्छा. We solved the problem where we got equal roots also. Say. x minus two whole square equal to zero. x minus two whole square equal to zero. Its solution will be x equal to two, right? Means x one will be two, x two will also be two. This graph will look like this. How many points is it touching the x-axis? One point, one distinct point. Number of points that a graph touches the x-axis is always the solution of that equation. and then we got some cases where there was no solution ho bhi sakta hai na no solution wale graph aise honge ye kabhi bhi x axis ko chhuenge hi nahi kabhi bhi nahi chhu sakta hai these are all no solutions rather go home open google and write quadratic graphs for equal solution no solution distinct solution distinct solution means this and i have given you the question x square plus that's the easiest question x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 please ask the computer to plot that graph plot x square plus 5x dekhna hai bilkul ye plot karke dega tumhe hmm the point on the y axis yeah below 1 Uh, exactly like huh. How do you get that? This is some point. We are not interested on this point. Yeah. It can be anywhere. All we are interested is how many times does the graph touch x-axis? Acha, tell me one question. We say linear equations have got one solution. A linear equation is a straight line. A straight line. Let me change my pen color. Okay. A straight line can touch a quadrant. को कितना तरह से touch कर सकता है? ऐसे touch कर सकता है? ऐसे touch कर सकता है? ऐसे touch कर सकता है? X-axis के parallel भी हो सकता है. This is called a constant function. इसका कोई solution नहीं है. This one is a constant function. It does not have any solution. And Can you ever expect this one, this line to touch x-axis twice? ये कोई नाक साफ थोड़ी है कि लौट के वापस आएगा. That's why linears have got one solution only. Now this been a cubic. Now this, these are the parts that your syllabus doesn't take. If it was a cubic polynomial, the cubic polynomial will be like this. एक बार छुएगा once, second and third. 
maximum it can touch thrice. Three times it will touch x-axis. Wherever it is touching x-axis is a solution. In fact, you are solving so many quadratic equations in your this Cambridge book, Oxford book. You know to solve all. They're very easy. I would rather say you open up Google and plot these equations. Aapne solution nikala na? Solution nikala ke baad, just go to Google and say plot the graph y equal to blah blah and see how the graph comes out. The graph has to touch these two points or else you open this application called Desmos. It is an online application. It's not a tool. It's not an app. Just go to Desmos. Desmos will open the graph and once you open the graph, you just go on doing it. Rest, I think you know better how to solve quadratic equation. Now, since you have learned how to drive a truck, the exercise in your book is like riding an auto. Aram se hoga. Now give a practice touch to quadratic equations. And then you've got some cubic equations also. Cubics mein kaisa hai? If you take the x common, it becomes quadratic. And cubics will have three factors. Two from the quadratic, one another. And what did we learn? If your degree is three, your number of factors should be three, three, satisfied. Cambridge mein algebra thoda sa kamzor hai. Like in Java 11 mein jayenge na, your algebra is stronger in AS level. So your, these basics should be very clear. So how many different ways can we solve a quadratic equation that we learned? A quadratic equation can be solved by factorization, where we factorize the middle part. It can be solved by method of completion of square, which is a tedious process. And you take it only when nothing is working to you. And the third way is that easily use the quadratic formula. But how does the quadratic formula come? And sometimes while using the quadratic formula, I'll give you many questions in which you'll see that, Sir, root ke andar negative a gaya. How do I go? Are no solution. Sir, are you saying correct? Check the discriminant. If the discriminant is less than zero, no solution. If the discriminant is equal to zero, equal solution. If the discriminant is greater than zero, I get two different values of root, unique solution or distinct solutions. Makes it clear? Now, when you solve your quadratic equations, do solve your exercise. But my request would be, please graph that. Go to any computer application and just write graph and just see whether the graph is touching those points. Now, you didn't ask me one question. Sir, how do you understand whether the graph will go like this or the graph will go like this? This is based on the leading coefficient. Means if a quadratic equation is 2x square plus 3x, plus 2. Say, for example, leading coefficient is what better? Positive? Uska graph aisa aega. Ye bhi test karna. Agar yaan pe negative hota na, uska graph aisa aega. Nain, touch watch to dusri baat hai. The graph will come down. It will come down. Touch to depends upon what are the solutions. They, are, they will not have same solutions. Thik hai? So, Give yourself a touch on quadratic equations, solve them, and if there's any query, we can take up in next class. Anything that you have not, but I expect you to finish quadratic equations now, whether they are by factorization, formula, splitting the middle term, enough knowledge, but please watch this once, and I, I don't want you to derive it again, but have some common sense in your mind, what is discriminant, whether your board has it or not, Otherwise, you will not be able to predict. Aap equation dekh ke bol sakte ho, ye solvable hai ki nahi solvable hai. Righto, chalo, baut ho gaya gyan.